Hey friends, welcome back. Uh, welcome to the sixth part of Web Development Basics series. And uh, this video is going to be quite short, and uh, we're going to discuss about uh, the loops. All right, there are two commonly used loops in PHP. That is the for loop and the while loop. You can see it over here. Have the representation. And uh, okay, we're going to start with this image where uh, you can pictureize the working of a for loop. All right, the for loop starts with a counter declaration and uh, it moves ahead it, it checks for the condition if the condition stands true uh, then it goes for the conditional code that is un inside the blocks and uh, after that uh, after the conditional code is executed it goes to the increment counter all right and after the uh, after the counter the same counter okay is incremented it goes back to the condition again and it does the you know execution of code uh, st till the condition stands true and once the condition stands false it just gets out of the loop and it comes out all right and uh, the while loop works similar where we don't have any counter over here uh, you have to declare a counter outside the loop and uh, after that you're gonna uh, start your while loop where it's gonna check the condition every time and you have to update your uh, counter inside the conditional code of your while loop all right the conditional code over here inside the curly braces is ex executed until uh, your condition stands true once the condition uh, stands false uh, it comes again back uh, both does the similar work uh, there's no much bigger difference between them we're gonna start with for loop uh, I'll give you an example you can understand it much better uh, basically loops are used to do some repetitive work such as uh, look I have a blog over here blog post which says uh, you know post 0 and this is the text of post 0 we have post 1 post 2 so on we have similar type of data that is uh, continuously posted and uh, I can't write the whole thing in HTML you know it takes a lot of time right if I, if I want to do some repetitive work Work like this something like this I can simply use loops all right so let's uh, get the code how it uh, how we are gonna write the code all right let's start over here so here we have this is the HTML part and we are only going to consider the PHP you know explore the PHP uh, this is the for statement uh, as you can see over here and uh, this is the declaration of uh, the counter uh, which we have seen over here I'll show you this one yeah this is the declaration counter this one and this is the condition as you can see over here condition and this is the increment all right so this is the increment counter so how it goes is like the for loop starts like this it goes through the declaration declaration counter so I is given a value 0 and then it goes directly to the condition right so uh, it checks the condition whether uh, it's true or false i is less than 10 that's true so it goes this way and executes the conditional code that is between this curly braces and uh, once the execution of conditional code is complete it then goes back to increment counter that is over here the counter is incremented the plus plus stands for uh, you know it's just uh, uh, incremented by one if, if 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 the value is zero it goes like one okay zero plus one all right every time it comes over here it just does a plus one all right after that it again goes back to the condition all right so uh, again to the condition like this okay uh, and here it checks the condition again like one is less than 10 so it executes the whole code inside this curly braces here and then it goes to increment counter and it goes on like that till the condition stands true all right once the condition stands false that is uh, the i becomes uh, 10 all right the i is not less than 10 anymore so the condition stands false so it comes out of the loop and the execution of php is completed so that's all it's it begins with zero and uh, it ends with you know nine over here uh, because that uh, because when it's 10 it's uh, the, the code is not executed right so that's why it begins with zero and it ends at nine so therefore we have from zero to nine uh, post nine over here I hope you're getting my point what is it so similarly the while loop also works uh, in the same way all you have to do is write uh, you know you have to make a declaration outside the while so here I'm going to make a declaration here alright so I, I give a value 0 
and I replaced for with while I replaced it so uh, once I'm done with this uh, all I'm going to have inside my while loop is just the condition right uh, that is the way we write that's the syntax of a while loop you have to remember it uh, there's no other way another thing we're gonna have here is the increment of this uh, i because uh, if you don't have an increment over here the loop goes infinite right so we don't want that to happen right let's begin uh, executing the code again and let's see what happens uh, it popped out with an error let me check oh we missed a semicolon over here so yes i save it again and i refresh the page back and we got the same result right so there's nothing difference the loop thing is just that uh, the syntax is different but the working is almost similar you know you have the same declaration the same counter i and uh, you know you have the same condition over here and the increment over here so uh, there's no big difference the looping thing is uh, a very important concept uh, i hope you understood the basic concept of of how the looping thing works in php uh, we are going to use this a lot uh, you know while we are making a blog so uh, that's it for this tutorial right now so bye bye i'll take your leave and uh, stay tuned for more